I had my first rap group in elementary school. I've been rhyming ever since, and it's probably my best form of expression to this day. It's probably the way that I express myself best. So it's very near and dear to me. And without further ado, I'd like to welcome you to history. Our history is not a mystery. I want to thank the two ambassadors that planned tonight. That is my man, Shannon Raglan. I want, to thank, I want to thank all of the ambassadors who have helped to spread the word about this exhibit throughout its time here. And I want to give a big shout out to the Voices, I want to make sure I'm saying this right, the Voices Poetry Group, my girl Tati from the beginning we lived, and she made sure from the very beginning when we were setting up this exhibit, she made sure I knew who Voices were. And now you get to hear from Voices. Voices heard. Voices heard. Nice. She warned us. She warned us. Echoes of our mother's weep. So, Mr. With the Fiddle, may you please sing me a riddle. One where little Bo Peep and her lost sheep won't distract me from my way home. And the song goes, to get an elephant off your path, you must eat it piece by piece. My, what great teachings do you have? Just how full of And no matter how much we tuck our tails, bear no teeth, white flags don't stop silver bullets. Mm -hmm. This is for Baltimore. Those weren't just bricks thrown in anger. It was the ghost of Tulsa. This is for Ferguson. Those weren't just stores set ablaze. It was the wrath of Rosewood embodied. This is for the children for no words can describe her. She is too awesome, the words haven't arrived yet. A God-blessed essence of perfect pressure, the struggle she has faced has ultimately blessed her. She is the first people to walk this earth. That's why she sits and not stands. Mother Africa feet hurt. Her worth can be measured in one single face. No single feature pretty enough to describe her black race. In her was mankind refined and distinguished. From her begat dominion only the creator can relinquish. She gave birth to the Anglo-Saxon and aboriginal. I've been told long enough that my sexuality is a sin and modesty was my only way to God. God has been hiding behind the eyes of insecure white men clawing at the sunrise of my hips. These white men told me God was behind their serpent kiss. I should revel in their purity. So I chose to find the devil and this dark man at least will have something in common. The juke was spilling out fumes of blues. I am here, I am now, I am 24-7, there are no vanishing acts, I am balancing motherhood, postpartum depression, and my individuality in one hand with the baby on my hip while riding on a unicycle. This is no circus act. There are no mirrored illusions. I am not God because M-O-M still reads mom in my reflection. Abra, Kadabra, black girl, you are magic. The creator lives in me, and I am blessed. And I don't utter those words in vain. I truly mean them as I've been shot with words, cut with eyes, killed with hatefulness. But like Maya Angelou, I rise. And I've been stabbed in my back over a million times. But like Eminem, dealing with my backstabbers, there was one thing I learned. And I'm praying the devil don't keep creeping, but he crept. He the father of lies and identity theft. And Willie Lynch gave him some help. You not seeing yourself, no, you not seeing a thing. All we see is bad bees, we not seeing the queens. We all walking around sleep, but we not seeing a dream. All we think about is bling, not achieving to lead. We in need of some things like scissors to relieve us of strings. Because Geppetto is the devil. I feel so blessed to call you mine. We got that good love. Everyone else is looking for. Never let me go. Can I lay here in your arms until the end of forever? Oh, never let me go. I was
was a prized possession. A reason for them to repent their sins at a confessional. It's a deception to understand and read only the stories they wrote. Our history they wrote, but it seems that slavery was the only thing that they could tote. Please, let's tally up a vote. Raise your hand if you'd go back in time and be me. Now, please remember a few simple things you'd be. Our boss gives us our checks and we run to the malls to get more. Yeah, we always talking about wait till we get some dough and sell ourselves pipe dreams of the property we gonna own, but overlooking the fact that we slaves until we well past old. Ain't no slave codes. We no longer being bought or sold. They took the chains off our bodies, but on our minds got a strong hold with no plans to let go. And what's crazy is a lot of us don't believe, but it's cool though, cause I got a little Harriet Tubman in me, and I'ma keep fighting for my people and to my people are free. <laughs> Prayed to God asking him to rewind the past, to delay the free at last for a series of letters passed between two heroes that found themselves at the wrong end of a barrel's blast, the questions they'd ask, the answers they'd grasp not just about our future but about our past, how far down have we crashed. We have went from rulers of nations past to the last of the last, how do we get back? Tonight, I don't like less than the whip coming down on my back repeatedly. Dance, nigga. Dance for mutilating you does not complete our joy, so I dance. I dance like all I hear is drums in my ears, like I don't hear these screams, like I'm not shoved into a hole where the smell of death awaits me. It baits me. It wants me to give in to the churns of my stomach that only want to give up, and I've never wanted nothing more but want my heart to give up. So I dance. I dance like I don't lay with my brother. Last of a dying breed left, but the first of a living one. Odds favor ten to one, God's favor in some rod labors with the vintage gums. Mm -hmm. Choice of weapons, same aim, different gun. Growing pains and change came in the interim. I'm Gordon Parks in a hoodie ace boogie after one of the dome I paid fully. Gracefully, thankfully, I found a better path and I walk it gracefully. Can't call it, it came to me. Seen it all, what y'all gonna say to me? Play bully in the booth, bulletproof bars, life's dealt a few scars, praying on a shooting star. Some things you can't escape no matter who you are. Short in height, but lyrically, I'm mad dude, you <laughs> I wanna thank you all for coming out tonight. It's a special night, right? I, I, wish, I wish that we were gonna, I wish that this exhibit was gonna be here for a long time, a lot longer, but I would, will say this. I'll be back in September to actually install a more permanent exhibit that will be on display at the Black Archive. <laughs> and, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be what you see here and more, probably some different pieces. And it's gonna be here for FAMU, for posterity. It's gonna be here for all of you all to share in, to, to I want you to embrace it as your own because this is what this is. Right. Incredible talent in this room tonight. Incredible talent. I still got to judge this thing, and I don't even know how I'm going to do it. But I love all of you. I want us all to, to, to grow from this, to love each other, love ourselves, and, and to, to keep a consciousness about us to where we look at things a little bit deeper, you know? A little bit deeper. We analyze things a little more. We don't just take things at face value and what's pushed on us and what's given to us. I said last night I want us to really check ourselves in terms of the type of messages that we're supporting in media, music, television, <coughs> movies, all of that. Because we're, if, if we're supporting it, we're saying it's okay. So when we walk out of these doors, it ain't just about what's on the walls, it's about <coughs> our collective consciousness. God bless you. I got some judging to do. <laughs> Good night, y'all. I just walked away, let them tally it up, and the tally came out to my man Derek Standifer for the Dred Scott Love to all of you. Thank you so much. Just keep expressing yourself in every way you feel. 
Don't don't limit yourselves to one platform because you can do it all. So just keep going. Thank you.